send another one? Sure, hit it. I love surprises. <laughs> so does our audience. Good morning, Anna. What are you doing in my bedroom? Isn't it obvious? Just as well. Oh, nobody knows how to take their clothes off these days. <laughs> no. This isn't bad. Who said you couldn't cook? You did. You misjudge my motives. So you're not putting roadblocks between Stuart and my mother? No, my sole concern is Camille. What she's planning next. You want my take on Camille? Yes. You, you must suspect that she's behind these accidents. I think that she's connected. I do not think she's the prime mover. As far as her next move, I haven't a clue. But Liza, um, <laughs> you're right. I lied. About? I don't want you running after Stuart and, 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 and filling his head full of... Stories about Marion pining away for her lost love. You are really a piece of work would not be the right word. Put yourself in my place. Oh, thank you. I'll pass. But Stuart has been hurt enough. Don't you think? He's, he almost lost his son tonight. I will not allow you to use this moment to press Marion's advantage. Poor man is, is so vulnerable right now. He'd probably believe you if you told him your mother was a virgin. <laughs> We all know that Marion devours men like potato chips. <laughs> well, come on. Say something. Hmm? Oh. What are you grinning at? What, what, what? Say something. Is that Mona Lisa's smile intended to intimidate? Or titillate? Come on, damn it, Liza. Let me in on the joke. You made a really small error messing with me. And hurting my mother was a monumental error, Adam. Well, just how are you going to punish me? Is it me, or does this day seem like it was a billion days long? Give or take a million or two. I wonder where Camille disappeared to. Hopefully another zip code. Mm. I feel sorry for her. Don't. Yeah, but she seems so lost, you know? She asked me if Adam was a liar. I think she feels like she was duped by her own father. Oh, hey, let her figure out whatever she wants to figure out, just as long as she stays away from us, okay? Beginning, I tried to make excuses for you to s stretch the gap of credibility to accommodate your Machiavellian tendencies. In the beginning, I had morbid 
curiosity. I admit, how low could you go? How cruel could you be? Well, I found out that night that you crushed my mother's dreams and her happiness to smithereens. That was your first mistake. Your second mistake was assuming I would not retaliate. I'm shivering in my shoes. You hurt my mother, and you answer to me. And you hurt her. You took her joy and her happiness and her hope, and you crushed it like the petals of a flower. Adam, you gave me the ammunition to destroy you. I have replaced you as your worst enemy. Just so we know, so the rules are clear, I never take prisoners. Hi, buddy. Well, I haven't seen you around lately. I've been busy. Well, give me a straight up lock, huh? A little early for you, isn't it? Oh, darling. Never too early, and it's definitely never too late. Thank you. Pretty lady. Haven't I seen you before? Well, maybe in your dreams. Why don't you come over here and sit down and regale me with your scintillating wit? Never mind. Phew. What sign are you? I mean, I bet you're just full of bull. I mean, I bet you're probably a Taurus, huh? No, I'm an Aries. Ooh, an Aries. Oh, darling, how marvelous. Those divine horns. Wonderful. Hey, could you please keep the drinks coming? Thanks. So, tell me, darling, you don't paint, do you? Yeah, how do you know? You're a painter? Yeah. Interiors, exteriors, mostly exteriors. My brother-in-law and me, we got a truck. You know, if uh, you want your place done, I'm sure we can work something out. No, 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 that's not what I meant, Dick. Well, never mind. It's just as well, because I have definitely sworn off artists, you know what I mean? Oh, boy. Please, please, Stuart. Stuart? Yeah. I was hoping I'd find you here. I'm sorry. God. I almost blocked you with this crowbar. You're, you're a little jumpy. Yeah. I, I know. It's, it's, I, don't, I don't blame you. Sorry. How did you know I was here? Well, I, I just guessed. This reminds me of your mom's cabin in Pigeon Hollow. She loved it. And, and I figured... You, You'd probably be drawn to it, too. I love it here. Um, so I, 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 you, your mom and I thought a lot alike. I guess that means you and I think a lot alike, too. How's your son? Uh, he's going to be okay. He's got to stay in the hospital, though. Good. I'm glad he's going to be okay. Yeah. He is, he is going to be okay. Oh, sure, sure, yes, in a few days. Yeah. Good. Never mind. What? No, I was just, I was surprised you're not with him. I mean, you, you seem so nice. I'm like your brother. Oh, well, Adam, Adam can be nice. Uh, not everybody sees that side of him. Your mom did. Uh, but I'll, I'll see Scott later. He's, he needs a lot of rest right now, so, so I thought I'd come looking for you. I'm surprised with everything everybody's accused me of. You didn't run in the opposite direction. No, you're not a bad person, Camille. You're a lot more like your mom than, than, than your dad. And like I told you yesterday, I know how it feels to have everybody turn against you. And I know how much it hurts to have to face bad things about someone you love. I was just starting to know him. I'm so glad for the, the time we had. It's just so hard to think that the things you said about him might be true. Maybe I didn't really know him after all.
painkiller work, and actually your uh, vitals are looking pretty good today, much stronger than yesterday. You still need to get all the rest you can get. When do I get to go home? Probably a day or so. We want to keep you here under observation. Uh, Why, are you plan to run a marathon or something? <laughs> you kidding me? I could barely make it to the bathroom. <laughs> well, don't try any distances longer than that. You took a pretty hefty jolt out there. Listen, I'll check in on you a little later, okay? Okay. All right. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. I hate to speak ill of the dead, but your dad really did bad things to your mom. And other people, too. How could he live with himself? <laughs> I, I don't think you should worry about that right now. That, that's his problem. It was his problem. I think you should worry about yourself right now. Like, I have to, I have to worry about what's really going on here. Stuart, I swear, I had nothing to do with what happened to your son, with that, that circuit breaker, and, and with, with your elevator. You've got to believe no, I do, me. I do, I do believe you. But the fact is that, that somebody is out there trying to hurt my family. And I have to figure out who it is before one of us is killed. Chandler, there's a call for you on line three. Thank right you. Over here. Yes, Adam Chandler. Oh, Dixie. I'm glad you got my message. No, thank God Scott is, is, is going to be all right. But Camille is still a danger. She's attacked Stuart, she's attacked Haley, and even Liza. I'm calling because I want, I want to have an undercover man come and keep an eye on Junior. No, 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 I, I assure you, you won't even be aware the man is there. But after what has happened, I don't want to take a chance that anyone can harm our son. Our, two, our children are too important to take chances like that. Worry about the children anyway. Okay, you, yes, of course. I'll, uh, I'll get in touch again tomorrow. Another one. Listen, Slim, don't you think you ought to slow down a little Look, bit? I am perfectly okay. I mean, I know just exactly how to pace myself. Do you know what I mean? Well, what about you, honey? All night long, baby. Really? Mm. Are you equally as good all day long, too? Uh, why don't we slide on back <laughs> to my place and you can find out? Yeah, this is going a little too fast. Nah, why not, huh? We both know what we want. We knew it before we even opened our mouth. Well, I'm glad somebody knows what they want. Oh, no, Stuart, that tickles me. <laughs> Stuart, your husband? Can I say Stuart? Yeah, who is he? Nobody. I mean, he's... Nobody, really. Well, I hope not, because all you need is me, baby, Hank. Yeah. You Hank me, Marion, huh? Nice to yeah. meet you, Marion. <laughs> oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't on. like this. On, I baby. don't like this. Oh. 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 You're hot. You're hot. Can I call someone uh, for No, no, I'm fine. I'm you fine. You sure? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh. Oh. Huh? Oh. You okay? oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let me oh, my God. No, let me get this. Oh. Let me get your chair. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. You all right? No, I'm not all right. Oh. I'm never going to be all right again. Thanks to Stuart Chandler. <laughs> Jake? Sure. Have you been in to see Scott? Yeah, I've been in and out of there all morning. How is he? He's doing good. He's better. He's going to be a little groggy for the next few days, though. So. I didn't want to wake him. He's doing much better today. Vitals are much stronger. Yeah. You don't look like a doctor. Are you an orderly or something? Yeah. Did you his girlfriend? 
Mina. How? You must be new. I've I've never seen you before. My grandfather is chief of staff. Really? Yeah. Well, your pal here ought to get better real quick. Thanks. Pretty girl like you coming by to visit and all. Bet he'd love it if he knew you were here. I don't want to disturb him. I wanted to see you in the hospital. Yes, of course, but I'd be more comfortable if he could go home. Yeah, I, I know, but he's getting the best possible care here, Stuart. You don't understand. Somebody tried to hurt Scott. On purpose. I have to make sure that doesn't happen again. Well, we'll keep a close eye on him. Have you notified the police about this, Stuart? I mean, when, when I think of how close you came, I... I just couldn't take it. I know. Sounds really selfish. I'm just glad that you're alive. Well, it makes two of us. I really wish I could take back all those stupid moves I made last Chelsea, year. Chelsea, please, please. One thing you learn from a near-death experience is not to sweat the small stuff. We're cool. Honest. <laughs> so we can start over? Start. As friends. <laughs> As friends, why do you want to start over? We had some good times. I'd like to hold on to them. It's a lot to be said for history and her story. Friend? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. All right. Oh, is, it, is everything okay? Uh, I'll come back later. No, Dad, get back here. No, everything's perfectly here. fine. Yeah? Oh, boy, why is there never a doctor around when you need one? I mean, you could be hemorrhaging to death on the floor, yeah. and a doctor would not arrive. I don't know. I can't believe Marian? it. Marion? I can't. Oh, Jake. Oh, Jake. What, what Thank happened? heaven. Uh, are you okay? No, I'm in most desperate need of medical attention by my most favorite doctor. Who would that be? That's you, of course, darling. Oh, Jake, I don't know what happened. I just slipped right off the bar stool, and I tried to catch myself when mm -hmm. I fell, and I came down long on my ankle. Okay. I right. think it may be broken. All right, all right, Marion. We'll take a look at it. Thank we'll you. sit you down right over here. Ooh. Easy. Thank easy. you, Dr. Right. Darling. <laughs> oh, be very careful, because it really is delicate. All right. Maybe I should wait over here. I don't do too well with blood. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hospitals sure smell funny. Yeah, it's like disinfectant. It smells like a combination of turpentine and hard-boiled eggs. Ooh. Uh, Jake, mm. do me a favor, please. Get rid of him. Um, uh, Mrs. Colby, uh, you got a, a bone poking out here. I'm going to have to uh, punch it back in so it won't break the skin. Oh. Hey, that sounds like it'll take a while. You know, my truck's parked in a tow zone. Oh, you better hurry up. They tow things real fast around here. Yeah. Oh, boy, look at my ankle. It's twice its size. Yeah, uh, I'll see you around, huh? Oh, <laughs> Oh, okay, Jake, okay. You knock it back. Go ahead. Marion. Marion, you can open your eyes now. I, I was saying that to, to get rid of him. Um, your ankle's not broken, but it, it looks like it might be sprained. We're going to wrap it up. Okay. You're going to want to put ice on it for 48 hours, then heat, or you can alternate if you want. It should heal up nicely. Okay. That's so nice of you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're very gallant, considering our bumpy past, Jake. <laughs> Oh, so you do remember. <laughs> what, am I not your favorite all-time doctor anymore? You are at the very top of my list, darling. Mm. Mm. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to call the ER, and they'll uh, send somebody to wrap your ankle. I, I left my bag in the uh, establishment. Okay, I'll tell them that, too, and then I can loan you a few bucks if you need a cab ride home. Thank you, Jake. Marion, are you okay? Did something happen to you? Well, it, it's nothing, just a, a stupid sprained ankle. Oh. Well, what about you? What, what are you doing here? Didn't you hear? Scott almost got electrocuted last night. Oh, Stuart. No, it, 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 he's okay. He's going to be okay. They just have to keep him here a, a while for observations. Oh, I'm so sorry. It must have been a terrible ordeal for you. Listen, it... If there's anything I can do for you, anything at all, Stuart, I... Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I'm I, fine now that I know he's going to be okay. And I'm awfully glad that you're not hurt, too. You are? Oh. Yeah. Thank you. 
Uh, Marianne, I'm gonna have to bandage you myself. Stuart, there's a phone call for you downstairs at the front desk. Oh, who, who, who is it? I don't know. The nurse said she didn't leave her name. Oh, uh, I got to I got I got to okay. take that. Oh, that's all right. I, I thought a lunch date anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah. Bye, Stuart. <clears throat> all right, Mary, let's get you in here. Will you hold my shoe? Yes, of course. Okay, I'll hop in. Easy, easy now. I'll hop right no in. No acrobatics. Okay, I'm in. Shoe. Thank you. We're off. Oh, boy. Oh, careful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Can I get you anything? Ice cream? Pizza? No, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just tired and sore. Well, I'm going to let you get some rest. But I'll be back. Good. Bye, Mr. Tim. Bye, Chelsea. I'm glad you, you, you two have worked things out. She's, she's very sweet. Yeah. Speaking of uh, reconciliations, is that Marion Colby's voice I heard out there? Yeah. Yeah? She twisted her ankle. Oh, so did you guys, you know, work everything out? Are you talking? Well, she said that she was really happy that you were feeling better. But no. She's, uh, she's back seeing her smart, successful boyfriends. She has a luncheon date. Sorry, Dad. Well, that's, uh, I've, got, I've got too many other things on my mind right now to worry about that. For example, who did this to you? Oh, hi, buddy. Oh, boy. I thought you might be back for this. Oh, thanks. Is everything there? Yeah, I grabbed it after Hank carried you out. Oh. Where is he? Oh, yeah, some kind of painting emergency. Listen, could you just give me, please, a double martini on the rocks this time? Are you sure you can handle it? Oh, darling, haven't you heard? I can handle anything. <laughs> boy, I can't. I hate to see a beautiful woman drink alone. You want company? So, what'd you think? Tonight, we honor Liza Colby and her sizzling performance. Give yourself a high approval rating, don't you? Just look happy. Oh, is this is delirious for you. Not maniacal, just happy. <laughs> Make up your mind. <laughs> <laughs>